Hi guys, this is Megan with the blog WilsonHomestead.com and welcome to today's vlog. Azog just had some babies. Look how cute it is. This kitchen. She's licking it. She's cleaning it off. Hey, don't, don't cut her. She'll have more soon. This one? There's just one right now. Well, that's why she attacked Hilda. <laughs> Oh, do you see it? Can I, can I no, 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 no. She's cleaning it off. You get home tomorrow. What? You get home tomorrow. She's got to have the rest of her babies and clean them off and feed them, and then we can hold them. Da, 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 da. Wow, baby. So earlier today, Azog totally attacked Hilda, like kind of out of the blue, my brother was over. And she was kind of, she's she's normally, she doesn't like Hilda, but she kind of keeps her distance from her. And Azog was hunting the dog down. She was like following her around. And then she just like attacked her. She attached all of her claws into her head. And she had a hold of her head and they were running around the house and Hilda peed everywhere. And it was like, this crazy thing that I all of a sudden was like watching this unfold and then run through the, the living room and blast through the furniture and pee everywhere and I all of a sudden realized like I'm gonna have to stop this myself like Azog's not gonna just let her go so I ran over there and I got um, the cat stuck under the diaper bin and I was like Luke take Hilda out and we got it sorted out but Hilda was like kind of traumatized for a while after that, as you can imagine. So that was interesting, and now it totally makes sense because she's had her babies now, and she was trying to get that dog out of here. She was like, I am not gonna have my kitten somewhere where there's a big scary dog, so totally makes sense now. And she's actually a really good mom for having done that, but it was like really crazy. <laughs> my brother was like, is your cat always this mean to your dog? And I'm like, no, this has never happened before. <laughs> All right, it's like 11 o'clock. I'm awake getting a snack, so let me check on the mama. Good job, baby girl. Oh my goodness. You got so many babies. Wow. Okay, there's uh let's see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven so far, and she's still going. Oh my goodness. Just going. You're just doing so good. My guess was eight babies, and Luke's guess was six. So right now we're tied. If she has one more, then I'll win the bet. <laughs> Good girl. All right, so I ended up winning the bet because there were exactly eight kittens, and that is what I guessed. So she had one more after I checked on her last night, and so now there's eight total, which is actually a really big batch, and they, our cats normally don't have that many. And she's doing really well with them, so the kids are absolutely thrilled. They can't just cannot wait to hold them. <laughs> We're gonna hold the kittens. Go sit down. Sit by Bibs. Mm. Oh my goodness. Do you like them? Gotta be very gentle. Do you wanna hold one, Demi? Can you come sit by Sophia. Just just let it sit. Don't, don't pinch his head. Oh, look at you guys. Hey, Demi, don't pinch its head. Got to be very careful. They're so little. And Sophia. Oh, the plants are doing so good. They're just sprouting up so fast. I'm really happy that we have these grow lights this year. Now that they're up out of the soil, they seem like they're just really helping them take off so fast. And even though they're not in technical actual proper plant, like seed starting soil. It's just um, soil you'd put in raised beds. They're still all doing so good. There's some herbs back here. This looks like chives right here. There's some sage over here. And there's lots and lots of tomatoes. Tomatoes up here. Like look how big those are getting. 
I'll link the blog where Luke was just first starting all these, but we can't wait to plant these all outside. Back here there's another, we have some weeping willow starts. We got them from the neighbor's house and they're just started in some water. All the other starts we did like this this year have done really well so far. There's more tomatoes down here, some herbs right here. This has just turned into such a good setup for, for us, right in front of this big window, all these big huge shelves. Alright, we're gonna go outside now and burn some boxes. My brother has his flamethrower here, so we're gonna try burning all the trash with the flamethrower, which will be really fun. <laughs> Good move. Uh -huh. a lot of boxes. Yeah, great. <laughs> Alright kids, stand over here. It's gonna be well, time for the flame. <laughs> Dude. Dimi, come over here. Yeah, I might want to move the rubber hose. Shoot yeah. 25 feet. Ah! <laughs> 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 oh, it's just vaporizing it. Woo! Yeah, careful, Hilda. <laughs> yeah, wow. Now <laughs> it's going. Yeah, that'll do it. You can burn the rest of that up. I got five gallons. Five gallons. Whoa, that's hot. That's hot. <gasps> that's The concrete's on fire. Dimi, hey, what do you think of the fire? Sophia, do you like the fire? Yeah, it's pretty hot, huh? Just short bursts. Push it. Push it. <laughs> Sophia, do you want to do it? Okay. I'm not sure. Do you want to try, Sophia? Maybe good with mama. Yeah, it's not the guy. Do you want to keep holding it? Push it! Woo! Jimmy, come here. I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, I so appreciate you guys being here and watching my videos and supporting our family. And I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye.